Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I am having a dinner party on Saturday night. I don't have many dinner parties at the moment because we've had COVID, have we not? We haven't had many callers. I've got the menu all done and I've been trying to work out what would be lovely for the tables. A lot of time, if you have too much colour, it can be visually a little bit unsettling or a visual overload, especially if you've got your food or later on your plate. So I want to share what I'm going to do and maybe this might be a little handy design that you can have tucked away for when you're having people around or even if you just want something that is green and just a moment of restfulness. Now, this is the container that I'm going to use. I have many of these at many heights and sizes. I've used them for lots of events, but I need you to know that this cavity here, you can't get much into it. So it's good for candles. It also, well, even when you put the oasis into there and you put your flowers in, you're still limited because it's so small because you can't get things down and into here. So what I want to do is something that I can have for long term and I can just put it away and I can pull it out when I need it. So having looked at this, this container, I've got a few little tips and tricks to help solve the problem of Whatever you put in here, you're gonna see the stems unless you can bring it down the side. The more you put into here, well, you can't put very much into here because it'll break up or it'll become unstable. So this is a little trick that I like to use and it is lining the inside of the cavity of this little dish with just a few leaves. So all I've done is I've used the, the artificial, you could use fresh if you wanted to, but as I said, I want this to last for quite some time. So I've just used the artificial leaves of the hydrangea and I've taken those off and I've put them into the inside. Now, you could glue that into there if you wanted to, but you don't want to be seeing the glue around the outside. Just by chance, I remember this. This is called a frog or a pin holder and it's about two inches in diameter and it's really heavy and it's weighty. Instead of gluing, just put that into there and that holds your leaves. And because it is weighty, it is gonna hold it. If you didn't have one of those, but I've seen them all through Amazon, you can get these little frogs here, which are also equally as good, but you do have to glue it in, but you're not gonna get the base and the stability that you're going to get, or the stability that you're going to get with the, um, the frog that I've just put in. Now the next thing I'm going to put into there is the green foam. Now if you wanted to use fresh, you could just soak your oasis and put the green around it, but as I said, I'm keeping mine. So that can go into there. And normally, if you're using anything that is artificial, you use the gray foam, which has been specifically designed to go with your artificials. It's a little harder in composition, but I think I'll get away with it with this because I'm not going to be putting too much into it. Right, the next thing is to put your candle on there. And now we have something that is strong and sturdy. The next thing I've done is I've just got this ivy, beautiful ivy, I love this ivy. And when I was designing this, I designed it on that beautiful fresh green that comes in the spring. Unfortunately, you can't use this for when it first comes into leaf or the new growth starts because it gets the wilt on. And there's nothing worse than go into all that trouble of creating something really beautiful when you get the wilt on and it just all droops and it doesn't matter how much water you give it, it will get the droops on. Okay, the next to go into there is because, oh, no I won't, oh yes I will, because I've got the leaves on the outside, I just thought that it would be nice to put the leaves around the candle. Now what these leaves are going to do is they're going to give it a little bit of stability and just keep that candle into position. Right, the next thing is, with the uh, with the, this ivy here, what I've done is I've just taken them out and it's quite easy when you get these. Hold on, let me just push that to one side. Oh, stable, it didn't fall. All you need to do is to just get into here and each of these leaves have just been stuck into there. So you can take them in and out as you feel 
you desire and then that just goes back into there and it's quite strong and sturdy again. So from there the next thing is to just get your ivy and when you're pushing it and push it in sideways so that it's going down and underneath the foam and the candle. So I'm going to have a long bit over there and another bit over here. These are going to look fantastic on my table. And I'll just put a little, I don't want it to be too droopy, droopy long because, oops, I might need to cut that bit off. But if I don't need to cut it, I won't cut it. That can go into there. And I'll put another bit over to this side. In fact, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to bend that up. Now, the other thing that we need to be very safety conscious about is, whoops, it's moving, is that you don't have too much foliage near the candle. So I'm just going to push that down and I've got another one that I'm going to use. In fact, I'm just going to cut, cut that down, which is a bit naughty of me. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So the, I just wanted something that was there, but not too heavy so once I get that on the table I'll just have a wee fiddle around but even these for, I did these for a, a friend of mine for a wedding not so long ago and what was lovely about these was this was all we had it was just the ivy and the candle and we had them at equal distance up and down and then I just laid a few leaves around the bottom on the table surface and there you have a really beautiful simple 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 design just a few pieces of ivy, a candle, and the other thing that's really nice about having this long stem here is it's visually, when people are sitting down, it's not visually going to be in the road because there's nothing worse than being at a function and you spend all night trying to see. So even these on a fire, but on a mantelpiece would be lovely. Just like tucked away in the corner, just a little bit of green, peace and harmony. Beautiful design. Hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I'll see you again another day.